Good morning. Swah. I'm on my way to work. Look at the sunrise over here. These people have a beautiful view of the sunrise every morning. If it's not cloudy. Stress for ride to work. It's cold as hell and the cold is relentless. It's not giving up, man. Winter is not giving up. Here we go, another car on the road. Better watch out. Get in my own lane. Now I'm going to talk about cars. Now the car industry is a big part of our economy. You know, I'm up here in Michigan and it's a huge part. There's really nothing else left besides the manufacturing of the cars, the parts, which we do little of, and war materials, war contractors. We got tons of war, military contractors. I think war in Michigan, that's a, you know, down by Detroit, they have probably the largest number of military contracting companies, I think, in uh, most of the country. And uh, that's what that's why I keep saying there's going to be a war pretty soon. You know the war drums are beating. I saw Obama, and you know God bless the troops, man. Look, I was an infantry troop. Fuck that. I hated the military. It fucking sucked. You know I can't stand somebody telling me what to fucking do when they're a fucking idiot. Now if a smart person's telling me what to do, I don't mind it. But when you got a fucking dumbass fucking idiot telling you what to do and they're looking at your fucking hairs on your fucking face, fuck that. Military is for idiots. But there's a lot of fucking idiots out there. Now, um, and this one guy who got terribly wounded or something, you know, there, it was a standing ovation for the Republicans and Democrats, and I saw that on the inter internet this morning, I don't know what channel I was fucking watching, I don't know. But I, but I just keep saying, the war drums are beaten. It, 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 the, military, the Republicans and the Democrats gave this guy a standing ovation, all these military people around, and you know, uniforms and military people are everywhere. They want us to be used to that. They want us to, these, this is our new heroes. The heroes should be the people feeding the masses. The people should be the hero fighting Fukushima. The people of, should, of the heroes should be the people that are trying to get clean water and protect on the earth. No, those people don't even fucking matter. Only the war people. Only the war people that's going to shoot the bullets, because bullets are a great fucking investment, man. Let me tell you something. You got bullets, you can only use them once. A bomb, you can only use the goddamn thing once. A fucking cruise missile, you can use it once. And it costs millions of fucking dollars to, to make. So that's a great fucking investment. And who gets in on these investments? Not you, not me. It's only the people up there, the 536 fuckers in Congress. No, they got all kinds of fucking military investments because they know, they know when there's going to be a war. They know what we're going to use. So they know what investments to make for them and their families and they're getting fucking hugely rich. I'll go into that later. We got to get these idiots out of fucking Congress and, you know, and, and senators and I don't know. I keep saying vote the fuckers out and no, and they keep being voted back in every fucking time. I don't know. People are stupid. But you know something? The war drums are beaten. Now let's go back to the cars. The car industry. Now they're saying that, oh, it's been such a great year. We sold all these cars. No, they didn't. They leased a bunch of cars. And you, the people that bought the cars aren't the people like, like driving. Like, I bought this car for 2000 bucks, But um, it's not people that, that are... Uh, buying the cars, it's the banks that are buying the cars. And where are they getting this money from? They're getting it from the 85 billion from that they've been throwing in the economy every every single fucking month. Now, I saw something on one of the stations last night uh, on the internet that uh, they may just not taper now. They said they're gonna taper, they're gonna start tapering, now they're saying, well, they may not taper. So Peter Schiff and all the Jared Salentius of the world, they were right about that. They're not gonna taper. As soon as they taper, you know, people start panicking. It's free money. Well, if you're getting free money and all of a sudden they're going to cut it off, why would you keep your money in a spot? I mean, that's going to make you more free money. You know, if you're not making free money, you take it out, do something else, buy land. But the car industry, the banks buy the cars, the people lease them. It's like leasing an apartment. Yeah, you have a home. You can say, well, this is my home, but you don't own it. It's not really your home. It's somebody else's apartment, and you're just leasing it from them, renting it from them, and you got to give it back sooner or later, just like the cars. They lease them for two years, and that's how they figure that they how many cars they're going to lease next year by the amount of cars they leased two years ago. And of course, now you can lease a car for one year, and they'll be bugging you to come in and get another one. And they'll forgive the miles. They'll do all this stuff, man. I know a guy that leased a truck to do snow plowing with. He's making out like a bandit because he just turns it in every year after he dogs it in, this, in the winter time, and they forget his miles, and he gets another one. And like last year, he broke even. This year, he's making good. The year before that, he didn't make anything. So it's a gamble, like anything else. But they're leasing the cars. Now what happens to these leased cars after they turn them in? They're not selling them. I've seen photographs of airports, of, 
uh, up here in Michigan of huge parking lots out there in the middle of nowhere with hundreds and thousands of fucking cars just sitting there. They're the leases that were turned in and nobody, they can't sell them. And it's hard to get a loan for them because they're used without paying crazy high interest rates. So, oh, we're going to make another million and a half cars next year. But they got four or five million cars sitting in parking lots. Nobody's driving, depreciating quickly in value. So where's the investment? You gotta tell me, where is the investment? Because like if I invest, say I'm gonna invest in five cars, 50 grand. And three years from now, those five cars are now worth 20 grand. That's not a good investment. And when people make investments, they want their investments to go up in value, not down. Cars are a losing proposition in any way about it. And it's the only, but it's the only thing we have left. It, the cars are such a big part of the economy, we have nothing left. And here's something else. The people that are uh, working at the car factories are now making 12 50 13 bucks an hour. Yeah, yeah, sure, these people can go out and they can lease a car. They can't buy one. They can lease one for 200 bucks a month and pay the $200 insurance a month. But look, they're living at home. I grew up, you know, I lived in Wild Fort and down here in Lower Michigan. And, uh, and I know people that worked at the auto factories. My parents worked at the auto factories. You could buy a house. You could have a house up north, a goddamn RV. You know, two cars. Send your kid to college. Guess what? The people working at the big three now have to live at home with their parents. Yeah, they can drive a new car. Most of them do. Because cars are status, man. People watch TV. They got to do whatever is on TV. So, you know, the car thing, the young kids in the cars, they spend every fucking penny they make on their car. I know people that are paying eight, nine hundred bucks a month just to drive a truck, and their kids, you know, living at home. Got nothing else, man. I'd be spending up money on going to school, because these jobs aren't going to last. You know, um, once the, they figure out that they're counting on these people to come back and lease these cars, and the people just can't afford it, people losing their jobs every day up here. Or they just figure out, man, maybe I could just buy a, a used car for 500 bucks and milk it and, and, and get rid of these payments for a while. That's going to happen, too. A lot. Fucking a lot. And the smart people that can afford the car payments would, and, and maybe a big down payment to make the payments cheaper are, go, are opting to buy their cars. But the car industry is just another bubble that's going to that's gonna bust. And then they're going to have all these used fucking cars owned by J.P. Morgan, Manhattan Chase, the, the recipients of this $85 billion. And the government's just going to write it off. Uh, write it off. And what's going to happen to these cars? I heard some news that um, they may just start exporting these cars, these lease cars that people turn in. And they're going to lose a ton of money because if you have to ship these things overseas and plus the... The depreciation value of the cars, they're gonna lose, it's a losing proposition. You're gonna lose all the way around, and you're gonna lose big. And who's gonna pick up the tab for this? The fucking taxpayer. That's why they take half my motherfucking check right fucking now. Fuck, I only eat three days a week. Okay, I eat more than three days a week, but only because of charity from my family. That's it. And I work fucking every, well, kind of not working every day because of fucking weather. But even when I was working every day, the same thing, nothing's changed. I don't know, man. You know, it's going downhill, and we're sinking fast, and the band is playing on the Titanic like nothing's happening. You know, if I was on the Titanic, I would have been fashioning me a boat out of the fucking furniture. That's what I would have been doing. I wouldn't have been listening to the band player drinking and, and, you know, waiting for the end to come. Fuck that. But that's what's happening now. The band's playing, and people are just sitting back and waiting for the end. They're not even trying to fucking uh, get out of it. They don't care. Beautiful out here. It's cold. It's gonna be a cold day. Look out.